I started off as a risk engineer for about 30 years and I discovered that I kept getting um, arguments every time I put up a, a, a solution to a problem. But when I discovered if you had the lawyers standing next to you, um, there were no further discussions, I then decided, well, I'll work at what the lawyers want and do it that way, and that requires due diligence. No, that's probably why I've stayed there, because it's interesting. Um, due diligence and making sure that the society and the courts agree with that what, what you're doing makes sense. And aligning the laws of man with the laws of nature is what engineers have to do. Um, and it's probably one of the most interesting areas that I think people could get involved in. Well, in the modern society, um, due diligence has become essential um, if you want to survive legal scrutiny after the event. Although that's not the reason why you should take the precautions in the first place, it certainly motivates a lot of senior people. The Donoghue versus Stevenson case, 1932 as I recall, um, was the first time which the English common law courts and therefore the Australian common law courts recognised negligence and due diligence as a defence against negligence um, as, as central to the way in which we conduct business in our civilisation. Yes, most companies do now anyway, um, but they don't necessarily call it due diligence. I mean, for example, the high-rise structures. Um, there'll be a design engineer and then there'll be a proof engineer, which is really a form of due diligence. Not all firms take due diligence into account the way in which you would expect. There have been some very large projects which you watch come unstuck and you've got a pretty good idea if they've done more due diligence at the start than they wouldn't have, that wouldn't have happened. Certainly that's been our experience. Well, one of the interesting things that happened is that the Model Work Health and Safety legislation, which is commenced in all jurisdictions except Western Australia and Victoria, um, this requires officers of organisations to possibly demonstrate due diligence with regards to safety. But there have been no test cases. It'll be interesting when a test case does arise because the penalties under it are criminal in nature and it's up to five years and $600,000 for recklessness, meaning knew or made or let it happen. Um, so the first test case we have, there will be a sudden change in the way in which our corporations and our directors do their business in Australia.